you've probably heard of these Beyond Meat Burgers by now. It's been a big stock market hit. Uh, surprised a lot of people. Professional stock people had no idea how big this kind of stuff would be. I myself didn't think people understood it, but it would appear that millennials out there understand it. Uh, the stock is just super expensive now. <laughs> It's very scary. I wouldn't recommend it, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to show you how to cook a Beyond Burger. There's going to be a lot of competitors entering the market on this pretty soon. Okay, let's get away from that. Let's get to cooking it. A lot of people, uh, I've been watching uh, a lot of the stock market people talk about how this isn't a good product and it doesn't taste good and I'm not going to get into that like I already said, but uh, these are actually quite delicious and they taste so much like a real burger. It's absolutely amazing. I think a lot of the problem that people have is they don't understand how to cook them. So I'm going to show you how to cook them. You got to cook them right because you can really mess them up and they don't taste good. You have to read these directions. The directions are perfect. I'm using the skillet method. I'm actually using a wok. I have bought this wok recently and this is the best thing I've ever cooked with in my life. It's got a nice big flat bottom so it works good. It's just nice and steel. It just cooks perfectly at a super high heat and it doesn't stick. It's just wonderful. I would recommend a walk like that to anyone. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> my point was I don't think people are cooking them right when I say they don't like the way they taste because these are just delicious. They're a little expensive. The price should come down eventually. It's on medium high to high heat cook for three minutes per side so that's not very long you want to have a really good hot surface I simply wouldn't be able to cook them right on any other pan that I own when you get these woks when you buy them you have to season them there's a seasoning process and uh, I just this is this the cooking performance of this thing is just exceptional so I'm going to show you the walk method for Beyond Burgers. Assistant kitty cats are optional. You don't have to have one of these. <laughs> Get away from here. Get away from here. <laughs> okay, put that back in the freezer. So at Whole Foods, a pack of two was $6. I happened to get some on sale for $5 each walk is cooking now watch this so I, I bought I stocked up on it five dollars it's a pretty good price for these walk surface is gonna be similar to like what you would see at like the Waffle House or a cafe with a you know restaurant grade cooking surface this walk is just excellent for this just a little bit on the side there so what I like to do is squish them down it also helps it cook the inside. You gotta read the directions on the back and 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 follow those directions. Or else you can mess them up. Like I said earlier, I think the people that say these don't taste good, I, I don't think they understand how to cook them. What? What what you like them? My animals absolutely love the smell of these. I think it's the protein in them. I'm not sure. I've never had my animals react to a veggie burger the way they react to these things. I squish them down because they're kind of fat and uh, this will also fill up the bun. This is a product that you do want to cook to 165 degrees in the center. That is definitely a warning just like real meat. I cooked that actually a bit too long. I guess thinking about it now I actually cook these things for a couple minutes on one side, flip it a couple minutes, flip it back over for another little bit, and then flip it back over. The inside stays pink. That's natural. I think a lot of people might try to cook that pink out of there, but it's not real meat, you know? It's not blood, so... The instructions specifically say to leave it pink on the inside. That's how you're supposed to cook it. Well, I was hungry and started making this video. If I had have planned this video, I would have put some french fries down in the oven and done it upright. I started cooking it without getting my condiments and stuff out. But 
I was hungry and I was like, oh, I'll make a video. Let's see what this side's looking. There we go. What do you think? So I'm just gonna give this other side maybe another 20 seconds. And then I'll flip it back over and do this side for like another minute or so. I just don't know how anyone with taste buds could cook this thing properly and say it doesn't taste good. It just behaves and looks so much like real meat. Okay, I'm gonna go another minute. I keep pressing it down like this because I want to get the inside nice and hot, you know. Are these kitty cat approved? Huh? What? Let's see. Let's see if it's kitty cat approved or not. What's this? It's hot. It's hot. Careful, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. He would have snarfed it down if it wasn't hot. Huh? Since when the kitty cats eat veggie burgers? Huh? I'm just assuming it's the uh, high level of protein in here that the cats smell. Okay, that's enough. I'm messing around over here. I'm gonna start burning stuff. Here's a real handy tip if you're using a walk, because I've got animals and a cat hair could easily go in there real quick. So what I do is I just take it out like this and just throw it immediately down in here, like so. There we go, ready for next time. What do you think? I've chosen Burger King style burgers for you in this video. Later tonight, if I get hungry again, I might show you one of my favorite burgers of all time. This version here is my Burger King burger. Actually, it's Burger King's burger, but did you know the secret sauce at Burger King is mayo and ketchup? Hey, you know what? I actually bought this the other day for this specific reason. Heinz has a new mayo chip. So that's basically Burger King sauce right there. If you want a burger that tastes like Burger King, go to the store, get you some of that right there. Well, I haven't tried that yet. Mayo and ketchup's what it is, as far as I know. But uh, that's brand new. I'm not gonna open that. I'm just gonna go with those for now. But it is something like that right there. Actually, Burger King is going to start serving the Impossible Burger, which is Beyond Meat's competitor. There might be a Burger King where you live right now that'll serve this up for you. This is basically, essentially what you're going to get, as far as I know. I haven't seen it yet. But, uh... Okay, so that's essentially it right there. Uh, I should have had some french fries for you to look at. But these really depend on how you cook them. And I can tell you without a doubt that you can change the taste of them if you don't cook them right. Sometimes they'll cook, uh, they taste different depending on how you cook them. So let's see. That's nice and like char grilled on the outside and on the inside. See that? It's nice. Still pink in there. That's how it's supposed to be. I may have actually overcooked it just a tad, but it's still, it's still delicious. So I think having that really good cooking uh, surface, that really hot wok I use, I think that's key, because the ones I'm making are just absolutely scrumptious. What I like about this wok is when you smear that olive oil, I use olive oil, smear that in there. It, it, uh, when you initially do it, you season the wok with oil. I don't know if all of you out there have done that before. It's the first time I've ever seasoned the wok, but that oil gets down in the metal kind of has an interaction with the metal uh, but I just keep smearing that olive oil in there that's just a wonderful cooking surface it's just I couldn't ask for anything better super hot and it doesn't stick that's just it's just wonderful put your tail in there boy you'll be in trouble I'll tell you what. as I make this second burger The stock price of Beyond Meat is up over $230, which is incredible. I, I honestly didn't think that people really understood what this product was, but uh, you listen to those professional stock market channels on TV, and they've been making fun of this product for ever since it, you know, a couple weeks before it came out. So I didn't think people would understand what it was, and I wanted to buy it 
when it was real low, like I was thinking it'd go down like ten, twelve dollars a share. I was gonna jump all over it because I know it'll be in time. But apparently, there's quite a few people out there that understand what this is. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was the likes of like uh, Mark Cuban and that level of investor that's making this stock do that. Squish it down again. Same process as the first time, of course. Chop up some onion, nice and fine. That's about what it's supposed to look like. That's just about perfect right there. But messing with this camera and blabbing, I burned it. Look at that. These are real easy to burn. So I think that has a lot to do with the reason why some people say they don't like them. Because you, you have to cook it right. It's number one priority with this product. It's just, it's real, real easy to not cook it right. Okay, here's the secret to the cafe burger. Secret weapon and recipe. Take the bun like this. Just Flop it down. Look at that. Like, think about that. That's the secret. That is the secret sauce to the cafe burger. I've been doing all this cooking on medium high heat. So, what you want to do? Oh, that's a little too much. Press down in the middle. Get the sizzle on the bun. That's actually pretty good, actually. A little dark, not bad though. There it is. Look at that. That's how you do it. Technically, if you had one giant pickle, you'd want to slap it down right in the middle. And actually, technically, I should have put the onions on there first. But uh, there it is. Cafe burger. Do it how you like, but those are the three ingredients right there. Chopped up onions, pickle, and ketchup. Uh, you could put cheese on there if you want a cafe cheeseburger. Slap cheese on there. Piece of American. There it is. Supposed to have fries, the cafe burger, crinkle cuts. What do you think about that? Too busy blabbing on camera, trying to burn everything, aren't I? Look at that. Just in the nick of time. These little ones usually sizzle up, anyways. You can't do much about the little guys. We got what we wanted out of it, though. Leftover pickle, la de do daddy, official cafe burger. When you cook fries at home, one thing you could do is get a, a spray bottle, a water spray bottle, and mist your fries. Just slightly, that way the salt will stick to them. But you could always just, of course, salt your ketchup. That'll do the trick. But Mist in your fries slightly with a fine spray of water. We'll make that salt stick. Okay. Here it is. Let's see what we're dealing with. Mmm. Mmm. See, the thing is about these Beyond Meat Burgers is you want to take it right to the point of burning because that gives it the that gives it that uh, meaty flame broiled taste and feel to it and crunch so you want to take it right up to the limit I was probably maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds too long on that but that's still absolutely delicious that being burned like that really just almost enhances the flavor of it Oh, it tastes just like a flame grilled burger, but sitting on the grill. It's just wonderful. You want to thaw these out in the fridge. I thawed out in the microwave, so I think that's kind of why it fell apart right there. Mm. Wonderful. Outstanding product, Beyond Meat. Thank you very much. It's what the world needed right there. In my opinion, veggie burgers up until this point were just a total joke. I mean, they were literally veggie burgers, you know, that tasted like veggie. If you want something that tastes like meat, go give this a try. 
absolutely outstanding. I have just taken these burgers like this and just salted them. I ate them by myself. That's how good they are. Okay, so what's the point I made in this video? You gotta cook it right. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I guess I'll end it by talking with my mouth full. As always, thanks for watching!